current treatments that are available for ALS, they are really focusing on symptom management, but there's a critical unmet need for effective disease modifying therapies, something different. Um, and we believe with the zinc finger approach that I can tell you about a little bit later on, that by targeting the disease at the DNA level, at the gene level, this represents a, a new therapeutic approach that could be transformative for patients that are living with these devastating diseases. You know, what's exciting though, is that recent scientific discoveries, like specific genes that are involved in diseases like ALS, have enabled a greater understanding of the underlying, say, pathogenesis of the neurodegenerative diseases, not just ALS, but other diseases as well, like Alzheimer's or Parkinson's. So for example, with ALS, it's clear that the what we think of being the clinical syndrome, it's not a single disease entity. It's rather a um, heterogeneous group with often different underlying genetic causes, different genes that might be involved. These scientific discoveries have highlighted that maybe more personalized approaches where we're targeting specific forms of the disease may be more likely to be successful in the clinic rather than a, a kind of one size fits all approach. So for our approach, we believe that it has a um, high probability of success because we're targeting the specific a form of the disease, we're targeting the disease pathology upstream at the DNA level. Um, and there we think we're able to provide a transformative treatment. So I'm really excited, incredibly excited for the future of all of these treatments for neurodegenerative diseases. I think it's this combination of advances in understanding the disease biology, like the gene discoveries that, that are associated with ALS causes, coupled with these incredible developments in genomic medicine, like the zinc finger protein platform that I'll tell you about, that will may be able to finally intervene in some of these debilitating diseases and possibly offer curative therapies. So our work on ALS um, is very specific to patients that have a, a specific gene mutation. So in the case of our, our current work on ALS that we presented recently um, at a conference, which was a great opportunity to talk with the scientific community about our work, we partnered with the brilliant team at Pfizer and we were able to leverage the discoveries about the involvement of a gene called C9ORF72. So mutations that cause expansions in these genes are one of the most common known genetic causes of the, of the disease of ALS. It actually was discovered about 10 years ago, uh, just this year, which is which was pretty cool to see that how far we've come in the last 10 years to be able to develop therapies targeting a specific genetic cause. So this repeat expansion, it occurs in one copy of the gene. We have two copies of our genes, one from our mother, one from our father. So one copy of the gene called an allele and the other allele carries the healthy copy of the gene. So what was exciting is that we're able to design and identify zinc fingers, so these proteins that are able to regulate the gene expression, and they bind with exquisite precision just to the diseased or expanded allele. So again, we had the opportunity to share some in vitro data with the scientific community, and, and what we were able to show is that these allele-specific zinc fingers, which are tethered to a functional gene repressor, potently and specifically inhibited expression of just the disease allele. And they were able to maintain the expression of a healthy copy of C9ORF72. Now we think this is important because the C9ORF72 has normal functions in the cell. So we want to be able to preserve what may be these important functions of the healthy C9ORF72 in the motor neurons. So we can specifically lower the amount of toxic C9ORF72 accumulating in the nervous system. And we think that this will be able to profoundly alter the course of the disease. It's so exciting to see these zinc fingers being de developed where we could move a step closer to a potentially a potential treatment for ALS with this high end met need that I described earlier.